All right, guys. So today we're driving the big boy, man. The Dodge. What is it? Dodge Ram 1500. Nearly a six liter, guys. Uh, back home, man, my car is a freaking 1.6 liter. So it's basically a little bitch compared to this monster. So let's get it, baby. Turn down this. Holy Babe, sh you need to. That's the stick thing. So reverse. Oh Lord have mercy. And then you need to so reverse out. <laughs> oh shit. Alright guys, we got this six liter Hemi bruh. This thing is a straight beast. Fifteen hundred. I think a lot of people uh drive this car in in Canada. Yeah. In Ottawa and holy crap. Bro, the cars here are just massive. Everything Stop. Turn it to drive. Don't worry. Busted! This thing is freaking. Did you hear that? Holy sh! Yo, look out the window, bruh. Oh my good lord, man. Dude, this is like we're gonna be invading Afghanistan. We're gonna be bombing some innocent kids or something. <laughs> oh shit. I'm only playing. Just relax. Um, this is outrageous, guys. Hold. This is like I'm legit driving a. a a freaking monster truck, guys. We're locked in here, so no escape if I crash. Does my arm look jacked? Does it look big? Get this. Yeah, careful. Get this family that I'm about to run over. <laughs> Do I look jacked here, babe? Yeah. <laughs> what does Rich Piana say again? Right, babe? You gotta say, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Right, babe? Yeah. <laughs> We're about to murder some innocent uh, people in the village, right, Careful. babe? Here you can turn on right. C catch the catch the view with a. You can turn on a right. Guys. You have to stop, though. Yeah, I'm stopping, bro. Ain't nobody coming. So we can turn. Oh, this thing is a monster, guys. It's only 40 kilometers an hour, guys. The, the city here, Canada, a bunch of liberal hippies, so. Only 40 kilometers in this freaking area, but you know what I mean? For a freaking stunt man like myself, I mean, you could be going a little bit faster. Than this is outrageously big, guys. We must be how? We must be like what? Four foot off the floor here? Uh -huh. Oh Jesus! All right, guys. <clears throat> we're on the way to the. What are we doing? So we're on are the way. Putting, are you using your flicker? Or no. Nope. Well, okay. All right, guys. I totally forgot how to drive. So stop. You need to stay behind her. Oh. What are you doing? My bad. I'm all over the road here, guys. You know what I mean? We're driving on the opposite side of the road as I am in Ireland. Uh, for some reason, people buy these massive. Oh shit. What? I can't turn off the flicker. Oh, we got it. For some reason, people drive stop. these. People drive these obnoxious trucks in North America, guys. Right. You know what I mean? If there wasn't enough, uh, you know, carbon footprint, you know what I mean? We have to deal with, and all the food eaten by all the people here. We have to deal with the freaking <laughs> air pollution, noise pollution. I mean, this thing is just testosterone in a car, you know what I mean? This is outrageous, guys. And yes, guys, this is legal. Okay, I'm a legal citizen. You can drive for 90 days in a foreign, in Canada and America. I think America it's only 30 days it said but I'm gonna be driving in the US as well hopefully soon you guys will see that vlog but this shit's crazy guys this is a monster I think we should bring this to America to fit in huh with the with the rednecks mm -hmm. you know what I mean like we're coming through the town cost get us the, like 300 dollars in gas that's true get the AR-15 in the back get the shoddy stop sign stop sign guys for some reason as well show the stop sign like every single like you know what I mean? 100 yards, like 50 yards. This fucking stop signs, like, I don't understand this stop sign business, like. So, and it's like whoever makes it to the, uh, what four do you call it? Stop. To the four way stop. I call it intersection because I'm a secret American, you know what I mean? Uh, but whoever makes it to the stop fastest apparently gets to go, but this shit is crazy, guys. I'm turning right up here. It's like I'm in a Humvee, ready to invade Iraq. <laughs> We're going back, well actually, screw it right, man. We're going back up to the six counties, huh? Back in Invade, Northern Ireland, man. Where are you from? Give us back our six counties, will ya? Yeah, bollocks. Oh shit, the police, guys. 
Can I go here? Yeah. Keep go, go, go. Record the police. No. What if they what if they pull us over legally? Same in fucking America. <laughs> Yo, they're gonna pull us over, guys. For sure. I didn't bring my license, you know? Perfect. So that's great. Stop your turning in here. We'll probably just have your freaking mom drive back or I can drive back. Be alright. Yep, police behind us. Recording, okay, it's fine. This would be perfect footage if I actually get pulled over. What do you mean? Oh, guys, I am driving a mo Can I just park here? Because I can. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Stay we here. lost them, guys. We lost the police. All right, guys, I'm going to say the first experience driving a massive truck. What is it? Six, 5.6 liter? 4.7 liter? 5.7 liter? So six liter, uh, that's an amazing car, guys. This thing is a monster. I kind of want to rev it up and be cool, um, but I can't. Okay, say bye. All right, guys, that's a little cheeky vlog here, driving a Ram. First time ever, guys, it's my dream to drive this car. Uh, from my friend, an ex-friend I had in secondary school, he's a dickhead now, uh, but yeah, dream, man. So shout out to you, bro. You know who you are, uh, Xtreme. I finally got to do it, and yeah, awesome guys. Love you guys all, and I'll see you guys in the next video. All right, guys. So you guys just saw me driving the uh, Dodge Ram, I believe, 1500. Absolute monster of a car. Uh, it was pretty funny. Just as we pulled out uh, of that driveway, so I dropped my girl's mom off. She hopped in the back of the car. So there's three of us in the car, guys, and just as we pulled out and this is why it's always um you know really you know careful to be safe guys while driving and how crazy basically how north america is compared to ireland i just pulled out uh and i i just drove up to a roundabout and i went to go take a corner uh so it was like a kind of a slip way onto another onto another road and a guy who looked like absolutely insane uh it looked like he was high on something high on something guys uh, he like just as I was driving into it uh, Into the walkway he stopped in the middle of the way to block the car and Immediately just started walking over towards the driver uh, to my to my side I you know completely just turned the car around saw a car was coming uh, Slowly crept my way out. So he was kind of pushing uh, the car and I just drove away guys so easily could have turned into a crazy situation like you know, I don't know he it looked like he had something in his stomach I don't know what he had guys was gonna rob me, take the car, whatever. We don't know, guys. And that's kind of what I always want to stress, guys. Um, I didn't panic or anything like that, guys. I'm a freaking Boston over guys. We didn't panic in those situations, but the guy was staring at me, you know, walking over to the car, completely changed. He was in the middle of the road, guys. So, uh, super dangerous situation. Could have had a gun, knife, whatever. Uh, knife was probably more deadly than a gun because it was close, close range. Uh, absolutely insane, guys. So all jokes, you know. What I mean, after the big laugh, guys, there's always a big cry. So it could have been, could have been insane. Um, but yeah, you know, like slapped the car and was like coming over to the, to coming over to the, to the, uh, passenger side. So I was obviously driving the left hand side in, in Canada and he came over to the left hand side and yeah, it was pretty crazy guys. So I had to <laughs> drive away. S one car swerved cause I sped off and, uh, couldn't see what he was doing to the cars behind us, but you know, it just looked absolutely crazy. So that is the difference guys. Uh, I always watch these videos. It's called active self protection. That's why I try and tr uh, train in judo. I'm starting up judo again, trained it for years. You know, uh, it's good to be uh, really self reliant in these situations guys. And that's just a little vlog type video that guys, I wanted to finish off with this kind of crazy uh, what happened, but yeah, like this shit can just turn like this guys and your life can be over like straight away. Not saying that would happen, but you know, you don't know what can happen guys. And you always got to be prepared for these situations. So, uh, yeah, definitely guys train work out every day so you can run you know what I mean that you can also fight train martial arts guys, jiu-jitsu and judo They're like secret powers guys. They're like secret weapons like nobody. It's almost like a superpower It's having like a cheat code in life in my opinion having jiu-jitsu or judo especially being trained pretty good at it uh, It's like a cheat code guys. I would recommend everyone to start up judo or jiu-jitsu <clears throat> in Galway and stuff like that There's loads in Ireland. There's loads. So Yeah, pretty nuts guys uh, absolutely crazy kind of a cool cool car so hope you guys enjoy the magnet uh go check out active self-protection guys go check out martial arts studios stuff like that guys on youtube uh they show you a bunch of different videos on like how to get out of situations and you know 
where to be cautious in different situations, guys. Because a lot of people is a lot of people are just clueless nowadays, and they just you know get killed for no reason. So yeah, absolutely crazy, guys. So hope you guys enjoyed that, man. Love you guys all. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace.